Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it's a really cold morning here in Melbourne, surprisingly. Um, winter is kind of rushing at us, which is a bit different to what it usually does. Um, I've just made my coffee. And I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do this week. I've got bulbs to plant. I swore I'd never do bulbs again, but I don't know, I can't help myself. I love jonquils and I love the smell of them. So I've decided I'm going to have, I'll just put my coffee down. I'm going to plant more of those. And I don't know, I'm, I need to do some work in the garden. I've ordered some more um, raised garden beds, two more to put out the back. Um, I eventually want to have six out there. So these two will give me three and then I can keep working on getting more. Um, but it's raining. It rained a lot yesterday. I did a macro class yesterday Which was kind of fun and I might take you through me unpacking Everything that I took for it and show you some of the stuff that I was teaching people. I guess I'll have to have a shower at some time um, and I don't know um, Susie is just um, let me see if I can show you Susie Oh no Susie ran away as soon as I turned the camera around, but she's feeling cold too. She wanted to sit on my lap this morning, which is very unusual for her. <laughs> so um, no doubt she'll be back a bit later, and I'm just noticing how dirty this lens is. I better clean that. So um, I don't know. I didn't post a video last week. I um, I just didn't know that I was doing anything interesting, whether I should or I shouldn't. I do have some footage though from Country Dahlias that I want to share with you. And another trip that I took into the city for um, just to sort of wander around the streets um, with a friend so um, I might show you some of that as well anyway I'm gonna go and enjoy my coffee and I'll catch back in with you a bit later on So I'm in the city again today. Um, it's been raining, it's a bit wet, but I think we're just gonna do some street photography today. Um, I haven't brought my tripod or anything like that. I'm just gonna work light, carry light, and see what I can find with just the camera and maybe film some stuff for you guys too.
and um, Burke Street Mall, which normally has so many people in it, you can hardly move. And it's Monday morning, you would expect there to be heaps and heaps of people, but there's almost nobody. What's arrived? Some new garden beds to put out the back. Let's go and have a look where they're going to go. So I just showed you the two beds that have just arrived, two raised garden beds. So now I'm going to take you out the back. Well, we're at the back now. And I'm going to show you where I'm planning on putting them. Okay? So we'll just turn this around. So down over here, I have one bed. That was a um, one of those no dig garden beds but I really think that the soil here um, it hasn't been looked after for so long and I'm getting too many weeds so I'm going to replace this bed here with one of those garden beds and here this patch if I just move back a bit where I've got sort of nothing and I've had it all covered up for a few months I'm going to put the other one here. Um, it'll probably jut up really close to this other one over here. But um, that one, this one here, will go in the next few months anyway. Once all the dahlias die off completely, which they're kind of doing now, and the tomatoes, well, the tomatoes are pretty much finished as well. I'm going to dig up the bulbs for the dahlias, and then this bed will go as well. So then there'll be four. So in this spot here, plus that one over there, um, I'll end up with four, four garden beds, raised garden beds. And then eventually this bed here will go as well. And there'll be another two raised beds here. So hopefully with the two out the front and six out here, that should give me plenty of garden space for the vegetables that we want to grow. I kind of felt like I ran out a bit like it was sort of I'd fill them up and then when there was something else I wanted to plant there wouldn't be any room for it so I'm hoping next summer will be different okay so um means I'll have to dig up everything that's in this one but that's okay we'll get there everyone um today i'm at country dahlias um it's a place just sort of out the other side of geelong um near winchelsea i think that's how you pronounce it um they're like dahlias everywhere um i come here uh, 
every year actually I've been doing this probably about the fourth year in a row um, if you love dahlias you love this place there are so many to photograph so many different varieties just too many really I end up coming home with or going home with so many photos I don't know what to do with them all but today I thought I could bring you guys along and show you some of the dahlias that are here so um, let's go and have a look As you can see here today, the sun is out and it is really, really bright. Um, it makes taking macro photos a lot harder because, you know, it, most things in bright sunshine with photography is pretty crap. You get lots of harsh shadows and it's really hard to see the flowers and such. So I brought along this, hopefully you can, I'll just turn this around. It's basically a diffuser, so I can put the photo basically into shade and then some light comes through it so you don't get such a strong light on it. Anyway, we'll, we'll see some of those photos like that. I'll try and show you what I mean with the diffuser. So you can see these flowers here are in bright sunshine. So if I put this over, and we can get in a bit closer, Hopefully that's focusing because I can't really see because of the sun. You can see the difference that the diffuser makes. So that's without and this is with. So it just gives it a much softer and perhaps like makes it look more like it is in if there were clouds or it was an overcast day. It makes the photos much nicer. Well, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing part of the city and country dahlias. Um, I'm just going to finish off showing you what I took to my macro class and then after that 
I've got some photos that I took while I was at Alloway Gardens while teaching and trying out some of those things that were in the basket. Okay, so that's it from me. Um, see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe even like the video, and I'll catch up with you really soon. Bye. So I think I said the other day I was going to show you what um, sort of things we were doing last weekend at my macro class. This is one of the things that I had. So a piece of very dirty perspective piece of perspex that we were taking photos through. Well, I think I was the only one that actually did it. So what else have we got in here? Um, these are sort of clamp type things that you can use to, you know, hold flowers up and hold them up. We didn't use those though. Um, I was showing people how to use these, some extension tubes that I have for my Nikon. We also play around with these. I bought some really cheap filters. Hopefully this will come in focus eventually. I bought these really cheap filters that um, I then I put some stuff like Vaseline on one, I put some hairspray on another, and I put some sea salt spray on another, and sort of left the middles a bit clear, and just sort of tried some different effects with them. Um, the type of things that I learned about when I used to photograph with film. What else have we got in here? Um, the other thing that was, this is a close-up filter that um, I use on my macro lens. It kind of helps me get even closer. It's from B, B plus W. I'm not really sure how you say that. The other thing that we played around with, which let's see if I can open this up. So this is something I play around with a lot. It's quite handy. It's a lens, it's a macro lens on my phone. You get some pretty good effects with that. That's kind of all we really did with the macro class, but got some great effects.